What's up everyone and welcome to the very first uh, HTML video tutorial here at beginnertouch.com. In this first video I'm not going to be showing you that many codes. Instead we'll be showing you a great and free HTML uh, editor uh, which you can use to write all your HTML uh, documents. So what you need to do is to go to Google and type in NetBeans like this. NetBeans is the program that I will be showing you. And it is also the program that I will be using in all the video tutorials here at beginnertouch.com. I'll be using NetBeans because it supports all the major web development languages such as PHP, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and an endless amount of other languages as well. NetBeans has a lot of the same features um, as for example Dreamweaver. That's also what makes it a very good program. Um, as an example, it has this auto-completion engine, which will help you complete uh, the codes that you're writing. So if you're a beginner, it will help you out a lot uh, when writing your HTML pages. Of course, you'll still be able to attend this video course, uh, even though that you're not using NetBeans like I am. You can easily use Dreamweaver, Notepad, CoffeeCup, uh, whatever program you like, um, because the syntax and the, the codes that I will be showing you uh, will be the same no matter what program you're using. But of course if you want to then please feel free to download NetBeans at, as it is a great program. Well, I'm gonna place a search for NetBeans and I'm just gonna pick the first one and then I'm gonna press download. In here I'll need to choose what version of uh, NetBeans I would like to download. And since I'm only going to be making some PHP, HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I will be downloading this PHP version. So I'm going to go down here and press download. Okay, so now you got the installer downloaded. And you probably got the same icon like this on your desktop. So double click this icon and follow the install. When you got the program installed, you'll probably have this icon on your desktop. Double click this icon to start NetBeans. Before going into NetBeans, I have made a folder on my desktop called test and this is where I will be placing all my HTML documents. It is important that you don't make um, any projects directly on your desktop because if you at some point want to delete your project then you might end up deleting all your other folders and programs on your desktop and you probably don't want that. Okay, so now you got NetBeans running and you probably get a front page like this. What we want to do now is to make a project. So I go up here and press new project. And since NetBeans is installed as a PHP program, we'll need to make a PHP project. So I'll just go down here and press next. Then we want to find the folder that we made before called test. It's right here and we will also call our project test and then I will press finish so now we're basically ready to make some HTML files so I'll go up here and press new file and now we got the option of choosing others and in here we have all the different types of files that we will be able to make we have the cascading style sheets, CSS, we have JavaScript files, and we have HTML files, and also a lot of other file types. But I will be making a HTML file, so I choose HTML and press next and finish. As you can see, a new HTML file has now been created. You can of course also create uh, PHP files, but I will be showing how to do that uh, in the PHP tutorials. Before ending this video, I'll just quickly show you why NetBeans is so great for beginners. So I could go down here at, in the body section. In here, I will then try to make a, a very basic HTML tag. So I start out with this one and I would then like to make a form. But the problem is I can't remember is form, formula, what is the tag for a formula? So I try typing F and then NetBeans will give me a lot of different options which I can choose and down here it I can find form so that must be it 
If I then want to add an attribute to my form, and I can't remember it, I can just type space, and then it will show all different types of attributes which I can add to my form. So, as you can see, this auto code completion engine is very helpful for you as a beginner if you can't remember all the codes and all the text yourself. Actually NetBeans has the same feature when you're writing PHP code, so it will also help you with your PHP code in the same way as with HTML codes. In general, NetBeans is a great program. It's easy to manage and it's easy for beginners. That is also why I'll be using it in all the videos here at beginnertouch.com. In the next video I'll be showing you how the basic structure of a HTML5 document should look like. If you have any questions about this video, please visit our website at beginnertouch.com where you can join our forum or ask questions beneath the video. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.